Hey guys, today I want to show you how to do the half weave fishtail bracelet. The original design for this was by Borneo Paracord, but I found it through C by S Paracord YouTube channel. So I'll link to both of their profiles in the description. And we'll be adding to it in our own way as well. Let's dive right in. So for this bracelet, all you're going to need is about 8 feet of paracord, a type 2 or type 3 fid. I like using a type 2, and you'll see why in a minute, and then just a 3 8 inch buckle. We're going to be starting this bracelet a little bit different um, because we're going to be attaching one end to the buckle instead of two like we normally do, or attaching it with a cow hitch. So what we want to do is get a fresh end on our paracord, and if you want to give it a, a quick go with the lighter, you can just to keep it from fraying, but then we want the inner strands to come out. So pull them out about two inches and clip them. And then once you've clipped those, pull the sheath back over the end. You want about an inch of cord without the innards on the end. So now we'll grab our other end. And you want a fresh end on this one as well. If you're using a type 3 fid, you can just thread the fid on like normal. But since I'm trying to squish it into a type 2, when this is actually type 3 paracord, I want to pull the end back on this side as well and get rid of some of those inner strands. This will make my end narrower for threading onto the fit. You kind of brush it to a point for melting it. And then either using a pliers or your fingers, just melt that down to a point. So that should be good enough. Now we'll thread our fit on. So then back to our original end, we want to put our, our side without the fit down through the buckle. You can just thread that on and leave it off to the side. What we want to do is make a closed loop in paracord, and so we're going to be poking a hole through the side and coming out the end. To get it started, I'm going to go the opposite direction. Just about a half inch in from the end, poke a hole through the edge like that. And then we'll go through the right direction and pull it all the way back to our buckle. And that cinches down into a nice loop around our buckle. So now we're going to go to the other end of the buckle. We'll have to take our fit off for this. If it helps you to visualize it, you can take your buckle apart. And we'll be going down through the top of the buckle. So then cinch it down until you have it a bracelet length. We'll measure that in a little bit. Bring your cord around to the outside and across before bringing the end up from the bottom. Pull all of your cord through. any tangles out of there. And we should have a loop going across like this. Now we just want to put our end down through that loop. And there's your cow hitch. This is obviously shorter than we want the bracelet to be. So let's adjust that now. Loosen up your cow hitch and try on the bracelet. You want the bracelet to fit loosely on your wrist with two fingers underneath. And that'll give us enough room to make the bracelet wider than the single strand that you see right here. So we're almost ready with the setup. We'll just bring it back to the other end. And one more time, Bring the end of our cord down through the buckle. You 
to make sure that those two core strands are the same length. Then we're going to start on our fishtail weave, and this probably isn't unfamiliar to you. This first step is going to be the same. We're going to bring our cord to the outside and bring it down through the middle as we go over to the right side. And then once more over the top, down through the middle. So we should have one stripe on each side. And that kind of covers up our initial anchoring. That didn't look quite so nice. So this is where it differs from a normal fishtail. Instead of going back down through the middle, we're going to do a full wrap across the top and then around the back to the original side. After you do that, then we'll do another back and forth of the fishtail. And one more wrap around. So this is a really small modification, but it makes the result look totally different. And Kind of a whole new bracelet. We'll keep on with this pattern until we get to the end and I'll show you how to finish it off. So to finish it off, we want to put that fid on the end again, and then just thread it down through the middle the last couple of times. This one you probably don't want to end with a wrap around because there's nothing to hold that cord in place. You probably want to end it with the normal fish tail like I'm doing. Once you do that back and forth fish tail, you should have your end coming out the bottom middle. So we'll just clip that and melt it to keep it in place. Oops, I melted it a little bit too much. So there's our finished half weave fishtail. I really like how this one turned out. We did the tutorial in the orange because it's easier for you to see it, but I especially like this bracelet in some of our color changing colors. Kind of has a duo tone depending on the light. So I thought this one looks really good in this color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a fun, different take on a fishtail weave. We got a couple more of those that we'll link in the end screen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.